Let's, let's chat about um, the uh, federal government's, shall we say, renewed initiative on um, the war against um, oil thieves. Uh, that has been very much in the news, not least, least because um, in recent revelations, you know, uh, they've been astounding, and it looks like um, if those can be addressed, uh, a significant dent would have been made into this particular phenomenon. But there is a lot of conversation on um, how the discoveries were made. In other words, uh, a former uh, militant in the Niger Delta, uh, Tom Polo, and his firm, they've been awarded a, a 48 million Naira contract and they've begun to deliver, it would appear, at least going by the kind of astounding results that have come by uh, since then. Of course, as you know, you've been following the conversation. We've been hearing that, look, this has been going on for decades, oil theft, that is. Well, the question is, uh, we, we have our military and paramilitary uh, people, and um, so why haven't they been able to, you know, do what Tampolo has done within weeks, perhaps months, of uh, taking off? Uh, this is something, so it's against that backdrop that we want to look at the um, armed forces and the war against um, oil thieves. Our guest this morning is a counter-terrorism spokesman of the Nigeria Air Force Group, Captain Sadiq Shehu. Um, Group Captain Sadiq Shehu retired. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming on. Now, as I sort of said in, a, in that short uh, preamble, uh, there, are, there are all sorts of comments. Some are elated, some are disappointed. Those that are disappointed are saying that this is a vote that is the federal government approved contract um, that has been getting these results is um, they, the, the, those people would attribute it to a falling out of confidence, let me not say a total lack, but a falling out of the issue of confidence with our armed forces uh, before the commander in chief would approve of such a deal. And they say to that extent, it is highly embarrass uh, embarrassing of the whole efforts of the armed forces. So give me how you understand um, the recent developments. One, the award of the contract to Chief Tampolo's um, you know, firm, and uh, two, the results that have come out uh, very shortly after he took off. Well, thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, it's, it, there are two ways of looking at it. First, looking at the gains, uh, it is uh, everybody's knowledge that Nigeria has been has been humorizing thousands and thousands, I can say millions of dollars as a result of oil theft for God only God knows for how long. And uh, it is also common knowledge that uh, right now, when there are, uh, you know, upheavals in the oil market, Nigeria ought to be reaping abundantly from the crisis that is rocking, uh, you know, following the Russian uh, Ukraine war. But unfortunately, as an oil producer, we are not even meeting our quota. For any citizen, this is a very, very sad situation, especially at the fact where economy is not doing very well. So in the light of that, any solution that will ensure that the bleeding of the resources is being blocked or minimized, though we are yet to get the you know, new production uh, numbers of Nigeria, we don't know that the Apollo uh, operation will show and uh, you know the figures moving northwards. But having said that, yeah, of course, okay, maybe uh, there's what is called bias by association. As a retired military man, I would have felt happier. I would have felt more proud if the armed forces of Nigeria and other security agencies were the ones that are doing this work apart from Topol. But of course, this will not distract from the uh, you know increase in resources that might accrue from what Topol is going. But uh, the ideal would have been the Nigerian Armed Forces and the other security agencies, civil defense police, should be the ones, since the government is maintaining them at a very large cost to the taxpayer. If that is the case, we expect that in return, they should be able to you know, uh, protect the commercial and economic interests of the country. But be at its may, we are using a non-state actor to carry out uh, you know, this function. My hope and my prayer is that this is only a temporary arrangement. 
Again, you might accuse me of being biased, being a former military man. There's always the professional pride.